Hey man, y'all see the title of this video already? We gonna jump straight into this, so shout out my boy Gene Parker, you feel me? We gonna use one of his beats. All right, I think we found our beat. Let me plug it into FL Studio and let's get started. Now, when it comes to Juice World type songs, what y'all gotta understand is there's three main components to every single one of his songs. The delivery, beat selection, and lyrics. You can do anything else with the flows, the cadences, everybody's gonna have their own manipulation to them. You know, you can't be identical to Juice, but make sure that you have the lyrics, the delivery, and then the beat selection down pat. I'm gonna be talking about some bullshit that literally just happened like 20 minutes ago. Let me just try to express it as much as I can in the song. I feel as though I'm not in the wrong at all. I feel as though she misinterpreted what I said. You know, she said she wanted space. I'll give the bitch some space. That's what it is. I'm not gonna let this shit deter me. I'm not gonna let it fuck up my head. It's just not worth it. And y'all know this is gonna be a good one, bro. If, if, if something just happened 20 minutes ago, like, <laughs> bro, this is gonna be crazy, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, this shit's gonna be insane. I'm not gonna lie. It's, this is funny. This is hilarious. Y'all are in for a treat. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, let's go. All right, yo, you know we back. You feel me? But yeah, I want to get straight into this breakdown immediately. Let's get to it. Y'all already know how I do this. If you watch my previous videos, I'm gonna play this entire song in full and I'm gonna break it down preset by preset. I'm gonna go through exactly what I use in this video. And I actually have a new ad lib for y'all. So it's kind of lit. Let's get it. is pretty much just a rehook of the beginning and the middle like you like y'all saw um the beat pretty much extends out which is why this is an open verse as y'all can see let's get straight into this so the presets that i use for this video this one this new one titled co we use the reno shuffle obviously had to use these as well we used the stereo effect as well and then we used the vocals ad -lib. we didn't use the black and we didn't use the cheat code ad -lib this time those are the only two presets that were not used in this video so let's get straight into it so in the beginning you obviously don't want to go too crazy, but you also don't want to leave it completely blank. You want to have something. So I just put a little ad lib here. Y'all can listen to it. You feel me? Nothing too crazy. Just something to fill up the beat. You don't want to just have the beat playing by itself just for what was it? like 12 seconds i mean you can but it's like i don't know it's kind of weird and now we move on to the co ad lib y'all peep y'all peep so it's basically the black but you gotta manipulate the delay bank what i basically did was i manipulated the delay bank i changed the time on it and changed the output volume um i'm pretty sure i changed the flangus as well i changed a little bit of the reverb settings and then i added this eq this radio eq which i put at a mix level of 75 percent you can up it if you want to if you need to and then yeah i put my own eq on here as well I think I changed the Maximus, I'm pretty sure, like the de just in case. Um, So it's pretty much the same thing as the Blat, but I just changed a couple things. This is how the ad-lib sounds like by itself, without the beat or anything like that. If y'all know SSG Kobe, y'all know that he has an ad-lib that sounds very similar to this, which is why I titled it Co. But this is actually an SSG Kobe type 
ad lib if y'all want it it's gonna be in the google drive link down below y'all click that link and y'all search for the ad lib preset that says co it'll say in parentheses ad lib i got y'all with the hookup it's all free whatever you get what i'm saying just use these presets if you fuck with them you fuck with them you feel me if you don't you don't it's cool we move on everybody's chilling at the end of the day and this is what the ad lib sounds like with the beat Now, the thing is, y'all got to get the timing right with the beat. Y'all might have to manipulate this. You feel me? Put the timing up to maybe four, maybe down to two, depending on what the beat's BPM is. In my case, it fit perfectly where it was at already. So didn't really have to do much there. Just had to lower the volume a little bit. Make sure you guys lower the volume to around like... I wouldn't put it past like 90 if I'm gonna be honest and I wouldn't put it lower than 80 because you definitely still want to hear like the the output regular preset always normalizing your 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 audio clips because that's very 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 fucking important generic bleeding of course because you know just in case you got to make a slice and of course go to the main snap none and then you can slice with the slicing tool chop chop and then move them around freely like I always say in my videos and then I basically just have harmonizations basically the vocals ad lib which y'all know how this sounds I already played it in the beginning it's basically just backing up this had the co ad libs right here as well pretty fucking lit and then i'm pretty sure this is the harmonization no it's not i didn't really feel the need to don't overcomplicate your songs either because again i have only two ad libs that are in and out throughout this entire hook and then when the verse comes in i barely use ad libs the only ad lib that i really use is the stereo and i'm going to show y'all exactly what that sounds like basically the stereo ad lib is just the air doa preset just duplicated i take out the sound goodizer i take out the high end and it's not using the reverb or the imager that's attached to this regular main vocal i recommend that y'all get an imager to widen the vocals like i said in all my videos just get ozone it's completely free this is the one that works best for me y'all can download this exact preset every every single preset that y'all see on here is in the description in the google drive link Y'all could download them individually or you can get my template. I'm, I'm going to update the template right now, actually. This is how the ad lib sounds like by itself, the stereo ad lib. And it's basically just harmonization for the main vocal. Basically going down an octave from this one. Um, and this is how they sound like together. Again, you never want to OD with the ad libs. You just want to keep it very simple, very... You feel me? Just do enough to where there's enough. Don't overdo or overcomplicate anything. Um, And then here I go with the Reno Shuffle. Pitched it up. Very spacey here. So I wanted to, you know, wanted to get rid of the spacing a little bit. Wanted to give it like a, you know, another ambience, another more essence, whatever. Here's what this sounds like. And it's basically harmonizing, like I said, with the other um ad lib. Basically the same thing. I'm going up an octave this time because it's up 100 cents. Cuban in a way of my thoughts and my conscience. Very, very subtle, but also it does a lot at the same time. Those subtle things, they'll they'll do a lot. And this basically continues for the rest of this song, like y'all heard. And going on to the bridge where I space things out a lot. Let me love you. That's all I just want to do. You've been in my head every day. It's uncomfortable. This shit been so stressful. I think I've been taking out. Baby girl, I need you now. Baby girl, I need you. It's been a long way up. It's been a long way down. It's been a long way round. And then it basically just rehooks. But yeah, on the bridges, try to switch it up as much as possible, yo. I try to do as much flows as I possibly can. I had one flow here. I switched it up here for the rest of the hook. And then obviously for the verse, I tried to switch it up as well. Every single section will sound different from the next, as you notice. The hook sounds different from the verse. The first half of the verse sounds different from the second half of the verse. And the bridge sounds different from everything else and so on. I wanted to make this a very, very quick video again. The three main things that I talked about earlier in this video, the lyrics, you can break down my lyrics as well. I definitely, again, this shit just happened like two hours ago. So it's like very fucking fresh in my memory right now. So I don't know, bro. Y'all will get better with punching in over time. Keep experimenting. I promise you will do crazy things, bro. Like this, I did this within the matter of like an hour. You feel me? Y'all will be Be bro, this I'm I'm giving y'all all my tips so y'all could be better than me. I'm basically just displaying everything. I'm giving y'all all my, my my presets, my templates, everything. I'm giving y'all all the sauce, bro. Everything that I learned, I want to give back to y'all, you feel me? Because I know how this shit gets. You feel me? Niggas need guidance. You feel me? That it, it is what it is. Yeah, the three main things like I talked about. You want to have good lyrics, heartfelt lyrics. You don't just want to talk about money, bitches, cars, drugs all the time. Genuinely try to break down your thought processes and have emotion. You want to have energy and emotion in your in, in your in your songs, which is part of the delivery part, which is the next step and then the third step is beat selection and gene parker always murders his beats shout out staller you feel me me and staller had a little altercation over the summer but 
It's all love at the end of the day, bro. I love y'all. Again, stay blessed. Stay easy. Keep grinding. Let's do this.